Hey YouTube, how you doing? Kevin here with a request for a 12 volt conversion. Um, it was on a battery video I did and they took it as I was converting it over to a, um, a KE100 because I do a lot of these videos um, to 12 volts and you know what? I said screw it. What? Why not? Let's do it. Let's, let's do it. I have a bunch of parts and pieces. Let's figure this out. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give you part numbers for light bulbs. Um, first steps first, the directionals are going to be 1156 bulbs. Those are the 12 volt bulbs that will fit into those sockets and work. The back is also going to be on the, pretend there's directionals there, 1150, uh, 1156 and the brake light is an 1157. Okay. In the, uh, gauges here, you got one for your, um, speedometer. One for your turn, one for your high beam, and one for your neutral safety light. And those are going to be, let's see if I can pull this up, if you can see that or not. Alright, I'll just read it off to you up this long, uh, wrong end here, hold on. These are uh, bulb number 2205s. 2205s, and you're going to need four of them. The headlight that I matched up is off of a Yamaha Virago. Same exact size. Looks like we're gonna have a thunderstorm in a second, so we're gonna make this. We're gonna do this in the rest of this inside here. We're gonna take these two coils off of your charging coils, and we're gonna replace them with more of those type of coils because those are six volts. Then we're gonna get rid of the um, regulator, and we're gonna use the regulator for a Briggs and Stratton. I do not have that part. I have to get that part. It basically has the same wiring. To two wires and the same connector <laughs> funny as that is and then you have your one red wire which is going to replace this white and black wire that's a ground so that's not needed because it, it grounds when you bolt it it's grounded that wire is into the case so you have your power wire going to your battery off your two of these coils that are going to replace these two coils three and six this is going to be six and twelve get it more coils more voltage and then um, that's going to go up to the Briggs and Stratton lawnmower from a 22 horsepower, um, what do you call it there? 22 horsepower Briggs and Stratton V twin, and that'll be the regulator used on this bike. The battery we're going to use an AGM, um, which is a gel battery, and we're going to get that over at uh, Batteries Plus. They have them for like 22 bucks for the di the same size as the battery that's inside this bike now. So. To replace the 6 volt with a um, a 12 volt, it's like 22 bucks. So it's going to take me a little bit to get all the parts and pieces, you know, the rest of them. Uh, I have all the coils, and I'm going to put this together on a dummy stand. I have a stand I built. Oh, I haven't built it yet. I'm going to build it this week. Um, out of some frames I cut up. Because I was going to make an engine stand before. That's what the engine stand is going to look like right there. And I got like, uh, this is for the KD and the KM. So it's got the single pole in the middle, and then the K, uh, KEs are off to the side there. So we're going to use it on a KE motor. Um, I got plenty of stuff to fabricate a stand, and because I got a bunch of these motors, you know. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to build a 12 volt charging system. This is pretty funny. Um, I, I just didn't think I was going to ever do this, but you know, I'm like, I'm thinking about it after I watch, after I read the comment, I'm like, I can do that. I know how to do that. So I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna test it. So don't take your bike apart until I get all the parts and pieces and get you guys the parts list for everything you're gonna need. Um, I'm, using a, I'm using a motor that has no purpose. So let me uh, experiment on that motor. After we get it, I will um, get you all the part numbers, parts and pieces list and everything else ready. And then you can convert yours over if you want to. The benefits are to it is the light bulbs are all easy to get to. And that's really all that runs on these generators. That's it. Lights. So it doesn't have a logic start. You're not going to jump start a car with it. It's going to be, it's a, it's a low, um, it's, it'll be a 12 volt, but it'll be a low amperage. You know what I mean? It'll be enough to run all the lights and, um, get you out there on the trail oh and i wanted to touch base with you too um real quick 
Okay, and the other part that you're gonna need to replace, I almost forgot, is your directional. <laughs> and this part I know the top off my head is on this one here is a six volt. You're gonna get one for a either a these are both the same. You can get one for a 79 Ford Thunderbird or a 79 Chevy Caprice. I know both of those are the exact same one. Um, I'm sure they used it. I mean, I know they used it on hundreds of other vehicles. But so you know that I know that you know that I know that you know. Those are the two the two cars you can get those off of. I really appreciate the um, the comments, the questions, and uh, the opportunity to be able to do this experiment with you guys because um, there's none of this out there. You know, I love this stuff. It's, it's, not, it's not out there. So we're gonna use these high winding coils in place of these two big coils. These are your charging coils. This one's for your ignition. We're gonna leave that whole system alone. We're just gonna take another one of these, which I have, I've got a bunch of them. We're going to bolt them right there in place. Wire them the same way they're wired in now. So they're going to come out when you're looking at it. It's going to have the same connector. And then we're going to hook it up the same way. It's going to go, because this right here goes right into your regulator. Right into the regulator. I had pizza. Mmm, yummy. So, anyway, that's where we're at with this project right now. This is just in the talks and just in the... Um, the brainstorming of how I was going to get this generator to generate 12 volts. So let me put it on my stand. Let me do it all up for you. It's going to take me about a week, week and a half, maybe even two weeks. But uh, mark my words, I will have it figured out where you're going to have a 12 volt charging system on a KE100. This system will not work with the electronic ignition. So if you have a newer one, um, it's not going to work because the framing, if you look on the video that I did when I converted from points to um, from points ignition to CDI, this instead of having individual coils, it's all one frame. And there are four, there's, excuse me, there's three charging coils, smaller coils, and then one for one of these for the ignition all wrapped up in white. So they're different. But for the ones with the points, I can convert it. The ones without the points, you're gonna have to have that rewound, which can be rewound. You can you can bring it to a, a guy who does alternators and say, hey, can you can you wind that for um, you know these posts so it will put out 12 volts instead of six. You can have it rewound. It's gonna be costly, but it can be done. So anyway, well that's where we're at, and um, it's just in the talks right now. I got the theory behind it. So I have the coils. I'm gonna put the coils on, test it, and um, see what I come up with for voltages and amperages. And um, after it's all together, I'm gonna to show, well, before I put this on, I'm gonna show you exactly how, what I did to it to modify it, to mount these on there and how I wired it. And I'll, I'll write out a schematic for you. Um, nice little diagram. And then I'll get you the part number for the voltage regulator that I'm gonna use. Coincidentally, like I said before and earlier, the regulators from a Briggs, this is this is the factory one for our bikes, but they both have the yellow wires, but instead of having a white and black, white with a black stripe, it has a red wire. And that, I mean, this wire right here goes right up to your battery. Same thing with that red one. That red one's gonna go up to your battery. The ground wire here is actually part of the casing, so when you bolt it, it's grounded, you don't have to worry about an extra wire. And if you need that extra wire, we can always cut it, put an eyelet on it, screw that down to the base, and then plug that part right there into your harness. Boop. And then, problem solved. So anyway, as always, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. And I love the questions and comments. This is this has been a, a, a real awesome uh, thing to be able to do with these small bikes, to be able to get out there and, and show you guys how I do things and, uh, you know, share with the world, I guess you will. So please subscribe, and thank you for watching.